ESPN's Rick Rowley and a camera crew were on hand to watch Grinnell's Jack Taylor have a repeat performance against the Knights. Warburg struggled out of the gate against the Pioneers. Full court press as Tanner Kramer overthrows Brett Algren, and the ball goes in the hands of Julian Marks, who makes a three in transition to put Grinnell up eight, three minutes in. Taylor was swarmed by Knight defenders from the start and misses this tray early and only made two free throws in the first half. Kramer and Algren would make up for their previous mistake when Kramer finds Algren for the mid-range jumper to cut the lead to two. The Pioneers came back and extended the lead to double digits when Marks dishes it to Luke Yeager for the three. Then Thomas Perkins and Eddie Deemer hook up for this layup in transition and go to the break only down nine in spite of having 15 turnovers in the first half. Grinnell is firing on all cylinders after halftime, growing the lead to 16 before Nick Weber stops the bleeding with an open lead. Jack Taylor didn't fare much better in the second half as he shakes off Perkins, but can't hit the three. He finished the game with no field goals and only three points. Marks picked up the slack though, scoring a game-high 26 points, including 8 for 12 from deep, with his final one here being the dagger as Warper loses to the Pioneers, 88-79.